Most of you do not walk around thinking about, shall I, shall I, shan't I buy that dress? Should I put it on? Shall I try? It's not healthy. Good morning. Okay, I'm heading to Mayfair by foot. Oh, let me just show you before we go any further, before I even introduce what this section of my day is all about. There is word on the street that this new restaurant on Marylebone High Street called Carlotta's is going to be amazing. This is it. Anyone that knows Marylebone High Street, this is where Natural Kitchen used to be. And Natural Kitchen was a huge attraction. Loads of people came here uh, to go to Natural Kitchen. It is now this Italian restaurant. It opens this week and I've been invited to the opening. Can we see in? Can't see anything. I quite like the tables. Anyway, that's not really, let me just sit you here. That's not what um, I'm going to Mayfair to do. I'm not going out for lunch. I have an admission to make. I am, I think, worryingly addicted to clothes. And I have this, I have this thing in my head where I will see something and I will just obsess over it all day now please don't think it's because i have nothing else to think about in my life i have so much that i should be dealing with in my life at the moment um buying dresses is certainly not one of them but it's a beautiful day and i want to show you the dress that i can't get out of my head i know there'll be comments going joe the rest of us are just trying to keep alive to earn a living so am i believe me so am i but i think this is some kind The word I was looking for was avoidance, avoidance technique. I mean, I wouldn't wear it with my Stellas, I wouldn't wear it with these. I'd wear it with um, a stiletto, a sort of kitten heel. If I do this here, you can see it better, but just look. I haven't actually done it all the way down, but it's a shirt dress. It has pockets, which obviously are essential. It's difficult finding the pockets because it's got this glorious pleating, but just look. Look at this, and what I love, as you all know, I don't have a waist, so I need something big to give me a waist, because I'm short-waisted. But look at this, just look at how that is designed. There is, the blue is sold out, there is the pink as well. It's stunning, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. And this lady here said, Somebody bought it last week, well, the blue one, I think, for a wedding. If I went to a wedding and I saw someone in this dress, I would be looking at this dress rather than the bride. Forgive me, I have no makeup on, but I didn't want to get makeup over the dress. But stunning, stunning. Good 
Vigi. Hello, and Vigi. I'm a subscriber from Malaysia. Wow. Yes. So are I you watch. over here on holiday? Yes, or? I'm here on holiday. Wow. Yes, and I watch your channel and I absolutely love you. Gosh, <laughs> and you're young. Yeah, everybody. I'm not actually. I'm going to put my glasses on. She is. She's I'm a young. I'm older than I well, you look very young, and you're in my favourite store. This is Valian Sage. You the one who spoke about so, Sage. So there you go. Isn't it amazing? Yes, it is. It is usually they, some, yeah, the some case. That's, that's what tempts you. I'm tiny, and look what I've got on my feet. God, so I think you're taller than me, aren't you? Yeah, probably about the How same tall? height. About five, five foot. But you know, five I don't. My shoes. I don't mind it. Do you? No, I don't. I think that you know, nice things come in small packages. And also, I think we can get away with a lot when we're little. Yeah, I think so. Well, I think so. Oh, it's so nice to meet you, Vigi. Um, I'm gonna. I was, okay, I'm going to. What I wanted to find was um, they sometimes do tiny little. Um, Danish pastries, but they oh, haven't okay. got them today. I just come in and buy one and go home. Okay. Isn't it? Well, lovely to see you. Where are you off to now? I'm going heading to a Conrad shop. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Gosh, you're going to have a lovely afternoon. So yeah. nice to meet you. Oh, to meet you. Thank you. How lovely to meet her. Yes, I raced in because look. But I mustn't because I'm actually eating a proper meal tonight. I'm actually cooking a meal for Mel, my producer because his um, kitchen is being refurbished. He hasn't got anything on which to cook. And I said, come round and have supper at mine before he goes into work, because he gets into work before I do. So I'm cooking for him. When I say cooking, well, we'll find out later. How nice to meet someone from Malaysia who's actually a bit shorter than I am. Yes, do you know what's happened? My laptop's broken, the screen is broken, Mert. Why? Because you jumped on the bed and it fell off the bed. Oh dear. I'm back home, rather proud of myself that I have not bought that, I couldn't possibly afford that dress. Could not afford that dress. But in the old days, I would have thought, okay, well, I'll go without food. I won't feed Myrtle. I'll um, have a one bar fire and I'll buy the dress. <laughs> but I've changed because truly everything's happened at once. My laptop screen has um, broken and I do my editing, well, my bits of editing that I do, but everything that I, you know, I use it for work here. Um, and this camera, many of you have said, Joe, it keeps going fuzzy. Actually, that's my filming, it's not the camera. But I do know that eventually this camera, this is my original vlogging camera, is, <clears throat> excuse me, gonna pack up on me. So I need to get a new, I need to get my laptop screen repaired, and they've just quoted me a thousand pounds, and a new Canon camera, which is a lot of money, so, yeah, I'm not buying dresses. But do you know what I wanted to say to you? Where can I, I'm gonna put you down. I'll just put you on the windowsill, just so I can have a quick chat. Um, I do worry about my obsession, actually. You know, so, so that dress, I saw that dress in Mayfair, oh, when I was going to the Kennel Club, that was, that was two weeks ago, and I thought I'm going to go back and I'm going to try it on, and I just kept thinking about it. No, that is not normal, because I have so many things in my life that are far more important that should be getting my attention, my concentration, my energy, but is it avoidance? That's the word I was looking for when I was outside that calf. Is this a sort of avoidance? thing I'm doing, avoiding looking at issues full on and just going and buying clothes or obsessing over clothes, even if I don't buy them, thinking about them. Most people, most of you do not walk around thinking about, shall I, shall I, shan't I buy that dress, shall I put it on, shall I try? It's not healthy. So anyway, I've come back and I'm very pleased. I didn't buy it, I tried it on. And um, there we go, that's almost as good, isn't it? That's how I have to think of it. Just try it on and it's like you bought it. Anyway, listen, I've come back and I'm going to start to cook because, well, 
Am I gonna cook? What do you think? Let's go into the kitchen. Join me in my kitchen and you will hear the scaffolders outside. Uh, there's always scaffolding going on. This is the center of London. As I said, I'm about to start to pre prepare for supper. And it's because Mel, my producer, is calling in on the way to work. So he usually gets into work and sets up my radio show before I get there. Um, and I join him uh, later on. But his kitchen is being refurbished. So I said, just come here and have something to eat here, Mel. Then he can go on into work. We'll just have a quick supper. And he went, oh my God, Joe, what are you going to cook? And I went, don't worry, Mel. It's all in hand because it's HelloFresh. Now, you may say, oh my gosh, all of you influencers all work with HelloFresh. And you know why? Because we all use it. I was at a friend of mine who is also a YouTuber. Last Saturday, um, he'd asked me around for a meal for four people, a dinner party. And it was all HelloFresh. And I said, it's just so easy. It's so simple. So, to give the scaffolding, if you want to know what it is, this is, for most of you, you know what HelloFresh is, but there are some details that I don't think I've ever told you before. It is a flexible meal delivery service subscription. So you subscribe, it's flexible, you can cancel whenever you want to, you can mix and match the recipes. Um, it's so easy to use and you're not, you don't buy into it. So you don't feel, oh gosh, I've got to keep eating all this food. You don't, you can cancel when you like, you can stall when you like, it is that easy. So I knew I was going to have a sociable week this week. I've had three friends round for supper. Mel is the last one. So I just ordered meals for two and these are what I ordered. So what Mel, I mean, I, we could have had speedy pork penne, I mean, so quick or we could have had sweet potato cottage pie. But what we're gonna have, because I really like meat every so often, and Mel likes meat, he's Cypriot, he loves meat. Um, so we're gonna have pepper crusted venison steak with red wine jus, look at that. Now, you'd think, oh gosh, she's gonna be slaving away. No, I'm not. This will tell me how long it's gonna to take to cook. Let me get my glasses. On the back are all the, you always come in six stages, six stages, and it tells you how long it's going to take you to cook, which is 20, oh, 35 to 40 minutes, that's all. 35 to 40 minutes. The ingredients are all in the box, and yet it will say you need a couple of things from the pantry. For this recipe, I need a knob of butter and some water from the tap, that's it. Everything is here. Everything I need. And what I love is this is the red wine jus. So there's no waste. There's no opening a bottle of wine. Fresh asparagus. I wanted asparagus because it's the asparagus season. Lovely fresh herbs, potatoes, and the venison, which I've kept in the fridge until I need it, is there. Beautiful venison. As I'm cooking, and you're wondering whether you could order HelloFresh, let me just tell you, the time to order it is when you're offered discounts. So when you get people like myself cooking with HelloFresh, we will always offer a discount. It's 60% off your first box, 25% off the next two months. If you use the code HF for HelloFresh, HF Minx, HF Minx, I'll leave the code below. 60% off the first box, 25% off the next two months. Right, get cooking.
Here's Mel. Are you hungry? Starving. You haven't seen Myrtle since she was a puppy. She ran at me about a hundred miles an hour. I, I had know. To duck out the way. She. <laughs> Uh, explain to exciting. everybody, explain to everybody, Mel, you eat at weird times. You usually eat at 3 a.m., don't you? Well, I go home after we finish work, I go home at like 1 o'clock in the morning and then start doing a stir fry. So I'm there chopping up vegetables at 1 2 o'clock in the morning. God knows what my neighbours think of me. But yeah, stir fry every, pretty much every single night. So this is going to be a bit of an adventure for This me. is an adventure, and as I said, gosh, sorry, the sun's in my eyes. As I said, um, Mel's kitchen is being refurbished, which is why I agreed to do this. <laughs> so um, he hasn't got anything to cook on at the moment. So I said, just come and have something on your way to work that includes meat because you like meat, don't you? I've, I, I love meat. I, to be honest, I have no idea what meat you're doing. Venison. Venison? Yes. I'm at the final stage. Do you want to come and have a look? Oh, please. Come and have a look. Look at this. See, venison is something you'd only ever have in a restaurant. I know, but look at this. Have you ever used HelloFresh? Did you cook this? I cook this, Mel. I've look, never used it. That's what it's meant to be, and this is it. It... I mean, it looks like the picture. I can't... It does I look like... I cannot believe you cook this. Right, Every... you... You do this, and I'm going to pour it on. I so, don't... just... Fun. Mel has known me... Mel has known me for 13, 14 years. He knows I don't cook. So this is the only time I cook is when I do HelloFresh. So fresh. what's that you're pouring on so top? So this is jus. See, this is... This is red wine. Right, see, this is something I would never do at home. No. Well, I wouldn't want to open a bottle of wine. Red, Look, there you are. Smell that. It smells amazing. It smell. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Doesn't it look good? Absolutely delicious. So, that, look everybody, I think it's, and this is parsley mash, um, baked asparagus in season and venison with a red uh, wine jus. Shall we eat up on the roof because it's quite nice? Oh, Joe, it looks like it's cooked to perfection. I know. Like even it's kept its colour, your, your asparagus has kept its colour, the meat looks like it's cooked exactly perfect. I can't wait. To Did you ever think I could do this? I'm you got to, why don't you subscribe? It's really, that's what it okay, should look like. This is what it looks like. Lovely this is. I'm in Clapham and this is Clapham Common behind me and I'm just going to Sheer Lux, not to film today but for an event um, and there's a re very very interesting speaker who is going to be speaking at this event. I don't think I'm probably allowed to um, film it. I'm not sure. I might be able to. Um, but I'm very chuffed they've invited me along. And um, yeah, it's a beautiful spring evening. And Clapham looks lovely. Everywhere looks lovely. All of London looks lovely when it's like this. But um, yeah, particularly nice evening and I'm looking forward to this. Daisy, congratulations. Thank you. What are we going to get around the mountain? Oh, Sunday. Sunday. And no, she did it. You did it in what time? You're the only other, apart from Sheila, I'm sure the only other entity I know where you say hi to a camera before yeah. you say hi to a person. You're in the right, you found your people. <laughs> giving opportunities to those with convictions, to those that haven't had the opportunities, the role models, the options that a lot of us in this room have had. And it's something that has interested me since I was 18. And here we are, and I'm so glad that our paths have crossed. I met V when he was on the programme at Key for Life and he was recently out of prison and he was not in the happiest, most positive 
state, but we bonded sitting next to each other um, over our interest in affiliate marketing. <laughs> because it was like I was living in a war zone. I was living with my aunt, Karen Sherrod. She had three kids and two jobs. She had no time for me. 50% of my friends grew up fatherless. 30% of them grew up parentless. I was part of the 20% that grew up parentless, right? Oh, that was amazing. Do you know, it's so good to go and listen to inspirational speakers because people's stories, and I hear them all the time on my radio show. I have people on all the time, but it's so nice to go and listen when I'm not doing the interviews and to hear their stories. <laughs> Here she is limping. Daisy's limping home. Look at these young people. <laughs> That was amazing, wasn't it? Was, it? it was so brilliant. unbelievable. Brilliant. Take care, girls. You Bye. 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 Yeah, Bye. Thank you. They're amazing. So, um, yeah, sheer lux. I don't know. I just love them. They are, um, they're just an amazing bunch, and um, I love that they're putting on events like this. Anyway, I will leave the details to V under this vlog. And now I've got a race go in and do my radio show but it's still light which is lovely good morning oh my gosh i know some of you say joe no your hair's great when it hasn't been blow dried but just look at this i've just got out of the shower and it is like wurzel gummage i've put back on my summer pajamas these are these are from sleeper and the shorts i'm wearing short it's a shorty pyjama set. When I was in Australia, we used to call it shorty pyjamas. I love sleeper. It's linen, um, a bizarre design for sleepwear, but I love it and it is very comfortable to sleep in. Anyway, it shows the seasons have changed in my sleepwear. I'm now in my summer sleepwear. Um, I just thought I'd very quickly chat with you because I'm going to Soho. Um, and the reason I'm going to Soho is because of Paula's Choice. Now, Paula's Choice, I am an ambassador for Paula's Choice. This was the second brand I ever started to work with, and they have been so loyal to me. I'm loyal. I mean, what a brand to be an ambassador of. Nadine Baggett always says, if you have any problems with your skin, go back to Paula's Choice. If you've gone off in another direction, go back start again because this is such a well researched well thought out brand so I'm using this is what I use in the morning I don't cleanse my face in the morning because I do that at night in the morning I use their 2% BHA exfoliant and that um, I think is their most popular product I think it is I'm not I think they sell one every so many minutes but I'm not sure I'm not sure also, can I just say, people often ask why I never put serum or moisturiser onto my chin. That's because this is where I have the most open pores. So I use my um, exfoliant and I use the Paula's Choice Open Pore product, but I don't put moisturiser or serums on this part of my face. Right, so... I'm going down to Soho because, well, there's two things I want to tell you. Paula's Choice have launched an app that you can use on any brand. There's a barcode, you put it into your phone and or go onto the website. You can place any of your skincare on this app and it will read the ingredients and tell you exactly what is in every product. I mean, I think they're the first to do this. So I'm going to go down and test it for myself in Soho. They've also brought out a new peptide collagen boost, which, can you put this in your diary? On Tuesday, this Tuesday, I'm doing an Instagram Live with Heather from Paula's Choice to talk about this new product and to talk about the app that shows you the ingredients. So yes, Instagram Lives I'm not good at because getting on, I hate that bit before, you're matched with who you're talking to and you're going, hello, hello, is anyone there? 
That'll be me, six o'clock on Tuesday. Put it in your diary and do join me. And you can ask any questions as well and we'll read them out. So, oh dear, I am going down to Soho, to the pop-up. I think I'm gonna wear my Hobbs suit. I wear that all the time at the moment because the weather is a bit... Anyway, camp, these pyjamas, aren't they? They, um, they were sent to me by Sleeper about three years ago. They always herald the arrival of summer. Shay Joe Good. I am rattling on right. I must get on. we're all obviously about education we've always been about education which is why this tool we're kind of giving you the control back to yourself so you know when you get skincare products you're going shopping and you look at the ingredient list and you've got no idea what any of those words mean and you're like is it good for my skin this checker will literally allow you to do that so you would go you can use this QR code um, or you can go onto our website Beautypedia skincare ingredient checker you can either copy and paste the ingredients if you're shopping online copy and paste them or if you're in a shop you can literally take a picture crop the image to just the ingredients and it will look at all of the ingredients and just based on the ingredients will tell you if they are good best amazing or terrible ingredients what their function is what the benefit of having those products uh, ingredients are in those products and it's all based on scientific research so we will do it based on facts not what we think i have been waiting for this this is long awaited and Myrtle this is something for you I hope I'm meant to be over the other side of London at a meeting but I am going to unbox this with you because it concerns Myrtle but also any of you who have cats or dogs this is Emma Bridgewater the clues are there let me just swing this round so I can put this here right let me just explain what this is and then I've got to go Mert are you having a good morning? She has had a walk, um, and then we'll be going. Oh gosh, this is a bit lopsided. So, I don't know if any of you have ever paid any attention to Myrtle's feeding bowl. And let me just get it. This is her feeding bowl, and it's got Matilda's name on. It's from Emma Bridgewater, um, very identifiable, lovely Emma Bridgewater ceramics. And um, I, I cherish this and Myrtle eats out of it because it's got her beloved, my beloved Matilda's name on. I obviously wanted one for Myrtle, but I interviewed Emma Bridgewater on my radio show, oh gosh, five years ago, four or five years ago, because they're, oh, there's nothing in it, Mert. It's empty, I'm sorry, how cruel. I've just put an empty dog bowl down. Um, there's your octopus. They, um, I interviewed Emma Bridgewater because she stopped making dog bowls and cat bowls and certainly um, monogrammed. Um, so, so yes, it, until then, you could order the, um, the bowls and give them the pet's name and they would um, write it on the bowl and send it back to you. Except the Emma Bridgewater shop used to be on Marrowbone High Street, so it was easy for me to go in and out. Anyway, when she came on my radio show, I said, why have you stopped doing them? And she went, I don't know, maybe we should restart doing them. And I kept looking on the website, and then suddenly I saw they have brought back dog bowls. So I've ordered one with Myrtle's name on, and... Now I've got two packages, so I don't know why I've got two packages, but anyway, let's, I just hope they've spelt Myrtle right, and I hope it's, uh, oh my gosh, we might have to time lapse this. I'm so bad at opening packages. Three cheers for the king. Oh, oh my gosh, Emma Bridgewater wishes you, oh I'd say, 
well it's a very very English brand isn't it so I wasn't expect oh my gosh right I'm gonna open those later because I think they are coronation good lord did I order those I must have ordered coronation mugs probably for my mum okay I think this is the dog bowl Myrtle are you gonna come up here and have a look come on then you come up and have a look because this could be your own she hates noise don't worry Myrtle this could be your she hates noise she's so sensitive Mert Mert this could be yours I'm hoping after all this excitement oh my gosh a great British present to you Mert hold your breath Mert cover the tissue paper you ready Myrtle do you want to come up here and see for yourself come up here come up you have a look at your present you're going to get your own bowl your own bowl hopefully you ready you ready you ready please let it have Myrtle on it Myrtle's got her own bowl there next to Cousin Matilda's oh my gosh everybody look how lovely I'm gonna leave the link below so they're back they've brought the dog bowls and the cat bowls back and I love it oh Myrtle so you can have your water in Matilda's and your food in your own Myrtle Bowl. Now then, let me quickly see. I don't remember ordering this. I really don't. But let me just see what these are. And then as I say, I'm off to the other side. Of, I'm so, so happy. These might be coronation mugs. Oh my gosh. Look. These will probably still be in stock because it is the coronation year, even though when you're watching this, the coronation will have happened, but these will still be in stock. Oh my gosh, look, Mert. We've got, an, we got one each. I can't believe this. Oh my gosh, what's this? Coronation fruit cake. I'm beyond myself. Oh my gosh, look at this. But I keep saying, oh my gosh. How lovely is that? This is Betty's, Betty's. Do you remember Betty's of Harrogate? Betty's tea shop in Harrogate. Maybe they're doing a collab. Oh, I can't believe that. So you'll be able to get all of this online. I will leave the links below. Um, and if you're watching all over the world, Emma Bridgewater is a very, very, very British brand. And um, I've got their, I've got their little, oh, sorry, Mert. I often, oh, Mert, sorry. I often use their little mugs, I'll show you. These are my Emma Bridgewater little mugs I have for coffee. And now I have, I'm so chuffed. I think I might give that to my mum. Anyway, I will leave the links below. How lovely is this? I'm so happy, Myrtle. I'm so happy. Yes. I am about to explode. So, I have got a parking ticket. I'm parked in residence parking. I pay for residence parking. I can't park anywhere near where I live um, because there's no space. So I came around the corner that I'm not so familiar with, but I know I've parked here in the past. It's my um, residence code, so I'm allowed to park here. I pay for residence parking. I've got a parking ticket because apparently this is for electric cars. Look at the sign.
that is the sign. Now, apparently, because I've just had a look, there is a sign on the road. But when you are driving, I'm not looking down at the road. This is the sign on the road. I'm furious because it is like you are the enemy. If you are a driver in London, you are the enemy. They are going to get you one way. Every day I get a ticket. That's an exaggeration. Nearly every day for doing something illegal that I have no experience of. It's happening day every day. There's another law that's come into play. So there's, you can't. <clears throat> sorry, you can't see <clears throat> that this is a charging bay. Can you? Where does it charge? Where is, oh there. Oh my God. Sorry, you seldom see me like this. I am just, I'm going to a very important meeting on the outside of London that I could only get to in my car because I have to get back to work. Otherwise I would have taken public transport. But I should have a choice. I can't believe it. I'm furious, I'm furious. I don't know whether I'll leave this in or not. Anyway, go, I, I'm, the meeting should be lovely and I've got to calm down even though I've got swimming hair. Oh my goodness, I'm coming back from my meeting and um, I've had such a lovely time that I don't care. I don't care about the parking ticket. I just add it to the others. Look at my hair. Oh my gosh, this is because swimming hair I have a choice. Either I have lovely blow-dried hair or I swim every day and have hair like this. And I, I feel so good after my swim that I'm going to settle for hair like this. Anyway, gosh, take these off. It's rude talking to you with my sunglasses on. Just check. I'm on the West Way in rush hour traffic, but the sun's out and I feel a lot calmer. I just, oh, enough about parking tickets. It's the sort of thing I would talk to Dave about late at night on the way home at half past one in the morning, but he's away for two weeks. Um, he went on Monday of this week so um, I miss him enormously because we literally only speak for like 20 minutes every single early morning that I'm working. And then I just get out the cab and um, that's it. You know, we're strangers that meet at night apart from when we do the chat show and we meet during the day. So listen, this is what I wanted to talk to you about. And just a little catch up about everything. First of all, as um, I was at that meeting, when I came out, there was a lovely message from Alice Hart Davis on my phone about she had the Tweetments live gig, the live event last week that I filmed there. Um, and I said, I want my eyes done. Your comments, so many of you just said, do what you want, you know, whatever makes you happy, fair enough. Um, you're non judgmental, thank you, all of you. Me going on about me, 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 but anyway. Um, Alice has just literally today said, Joe, these are the people I would recommend. She has sent me a list, text me a whole list, which I'm so grateful to uh, for. So I'm going to look at those. My apprehension, and a couple of you said this, quite a few of you have had eye jobs, work, lifts, whatever you want to call it. And those of you who have are very happy with it. Somebody said though, no, two people I think left in the comment section, Joe, it alters your expression so your eyes have their own expression and my concern is would my expression change in my eyes i don't see why it would because it won't affect the eye it's the out you know it's the lid but that was a concern so thank you and i am going to talk that over with the um eye surgeon i'm going to see a couple and have a consultation mind you the consultations cost but it's best to do your research. I think the one thing you don't scrimp on is um, plastic surgery, which is what it is. It's, my gosh, I would have had plastic surgery 
Anyway, I've got to sort that out, do my research, and I will fill you in um, every step of the way, I promise you. But I was so grateful for your comments. The other thing is the um, middle-aged minx meets. I'm hoping to do one a month. I met someone today who thought I was doing one a week. It's going to be one a month because they take so much organising. Um, you have to give editorial um, say to the person you're interviewing. That's the deal. That I don't set them up and then sell stories to the press. <laughs> Not that I would ever do that, but... And, you know, Tracy Sugg was wonderful. She didn't care. You know, she didn't... I, I sent her it and said, you know, please, I want your approval before we post it. And she was just so lovely. And I was spoilt. As so many of you said, she was the perfect first guest. Finding the rest, loads of you have suggested people, but the people you suggest, they have to bring with them a story and a curious story. So I'm looking at really the people behind the successes, the people that we often don't hear from who are behind the successful people. So, but they're usually behind them because they don't want um, the publicity. Tracy, you know, didn't, she doesn't want publicity. She just did it as a gesture for me. I was so, so incredibly chuffed. So it is there still, if you want to see it. I'll leave the link to my very first Middle Age Minx Meets. Um, so that's it. We're not finishing with Dave the Cabbie. We're finishing in daylight. A lovely, sunny day on the West Way. Um, Hopefully, when you've watched this, you will have either watched the coronation or avoided the coronation. I shall be watching it with my 98-year-old mother because we've watched every um, royal event together. Um, not that I'm a royalist. I loved the Queen. I absolutely loved the Queen. And whether I shall continue to follow the royal family, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to sign off. And... Um, just say goodbye and thank you for subscribing thank you for all your comments thank you for oh honestly just sticking with me and all my whims and all my thoughts that you don't judge me so thank you and I read every comment I answer nearly every comment if I don't answer them I give a little heart <laughs> what am I going on about anyway listen have a great weekend what's left of it and I will see you next Sunday and keep sending your walking people if you don't know what I mean you'll see straight after this bye now